Magandang magandang araw po mga kasambuhay. Ako po si Father Domi Guzman ng Society of St. Paul at uh, sa ngalan po ng mga pari, mga brothers, mga seminarista po ng aming kongregasyon dito po sa Pilipinas at sa Macau, kayo po ay aming inaanyayahan na makiisa, makimisa sa atin pong Sambuhay TV Mass ngayon pong March 17, 2019, ito po ang ikalawang linggo ng panahon ng Kwaresma. Of course, kasama rin natin sa apostoladong ito ang TV Maria at gayon din po ang mga pari ng Archdiocese of Manila. And we would like to pray in a very special way para po sa ating mga may sakit, para po sa ating mga elderly, mga caregivers po ninyo, ang atin pong mga alagad ng batas at gayon din po ang ating libo-libo na mga OFWs, lalo-lalo na po itong atin pong mga seaman at sea women na araw-araw ay wala po nakikita kung hindi ang malawak na tubig ng laot. Di ba? Oh. We'd like also to pray, siyempre, para po sa ating mga Uh, partners in mission si Leslie Masigan at ang kanyang mga anak at ang kanyang nanay no si uh, Tony at Lourdes Choa nako ang kanilang mga anak at uh, mga apo ha gayon din po si Ed at Norma Arrojado si George at Noemi Villarus at gayon din po si Didith at Joey Jacob ng uh, workers o uh, ng workers of Christ that uh, ang kusina ni Kambal ni Irma at ni Delio San Miguel at gayon din po si uh, Corazon Ochoa at Rosita Kauyan diyan po sa Discovery Bay sa Hong Kong kasama na rin po siyempre ang kaibigan natin na si Alex Pideris sa Canada at si Alma Gonzales naman diyan po sa Los Angeles, California. Uh, we'd like also to pray para po sa ating mga love offerers Si Rachel Steban, Gemma Candela, si May Asuncion Recio, si Grace Kahape Aquino, si Romel Salvador ha? Kumusta ka na, ka Romel? And uh, siya nga po pala within the week, March 19 Ay ang piyesta po, ang matandang kapistahan ni San Jose bilang asawa, bilang guardian ng ating mahal na inang birhen, no? guardian of the Holy Family. Kaya't binabati po natin lahat po ng uh, members ng uh, Instituto Santa Familia, uh, ISF. Ito po yung uh, uh, lay consecrated life na naka po sa Society of St. Paul. No? Kung interesado po kayo yung mga mag-asawahan na gusto po ninyo na magkaroon ng isang religious community with vows, bagamat kayo yung mag-asawa, uh, you can join po yung Instituto Santa Familia. You can just email us at, uh, or you can message us at uh, ipapadala po namin sa inyo ang mga information pamphlets no so we greet lahat po ng ISF members sa Manila sa Dabao sa Bohol sa uh, San Fernando Pampanga sa Cebu no at uh, gayon din po yung iba't iba pang mga members ng ISF uh, sa all over no god bless you po We'd like to acknowledge ito pong ating mga messages na dumating sa ating Facebook. Si Mary Cruz, healing po para sa kanyang katawan. May pain daw siya. Gayon din po ang patuloy na panalangin ni Pilar's Chocolato. <laughs> Chocolato. Si, kasama niya po at uh, nais niyang ipanalangin natin ang kanyang mga... Souls in Purgatory at mga kaibigan, kamag-anakan na namayapa na si Hector, si Pilar, Florentino, Mirna, Raul at si Father Nene Salvacion. Si MB Domenica, uh, 
prayers para po sa kanyang dear ones na si Dominic, si Darrell, si uh, Darwin, si Ding, at ang kanya pong uh, uh, tatay at nanay. Si Merle Cruz, petitions para po sa healing ng kanilang buong mag-anak. Si Susan Andrade Wistyuski. Ayan, but sana okay yung pagka-pronounce ko. Wistyuski. Ayan, o, oh, Susan Andrade. Si Jeanette de la Cruz, si Edna Holito Salmingo, ay uh, nais niyang ipanalangin natin ang healing ni Mel Tina Bagtas, ni Chito Hongko, ni Lina Flor Salmingo, ni Jamero Saldi Renzo Mejia, uh, Annabel Alfonso Garovillas, si Phoebe Yu Adela, Ronnie Rod uh, Valdez, si Atina, at gayon din po ang wedding anniversary ni Saldi Mejia at Riza Mejia. Uh, Prayers also for the intentions of Elena Ngo and Amelia Nario at gayon din po si Gina Mihares na taga-subaypay po natin even sa atin pong daily mass sa sambuhay. Prayers po para sa kanyang anak na si Vihel, sa kanyang daughter na si Glaza Baurile, uh, para po sa kanyang nanay na si Leticia ang kanyang mga kapatid na si Junjun at Jennifer Mihares, eternal rest para po sa lahat sa kanila. Samantala, healing po para sa kanyang granddaughter na, na si Charina Henela Romarate. Yan. Uh, si Gina Mihares ay kasambuhay po natin mula po sa Singapore. Yan. Si Mary Liu, mula po dyan sa Ma Malaysia, si Maria Liu, no? Healing of mind and body for uh, Ho Xie Sing. At gayon din po, healing para kay Pedro Velarde, uh, ito po ay galing kay Margie Abelia. Si Precious San Diego, nais niyang ipanalangin po natin ang safety at wisdom ng kanyang mga anak na si John, Ann Rose at si Bunso. And the uh, prayers para po sa RCCC um, elders and members uh, galing po kay Eslin Balsita Carbonel. Si Maylin Pangilinan Garcia ay uh, humihingi din po ng panalangin para po sa healing ng kanyang father and uh, para po sa uh, long life ng kanyang tatay. ba? Diba? Si Mar Marcelina Nadal Bautista, Rafi Di Malanta, Ani Catera, Imelda Arnel Matthew Anonas, Merli Cruz, Chuchay Guillermo Ishiwaka, uh, Kao Ishi Ishikawa, Uh, si uh, MD Domenica at uh, si Welziki. Gayun din po ang mga mass intentions ni Gloria Tamayo Panyera, uh, Parenya, sorry, si Maria Luisa Vitor, Saida Binyas, Grace uh, Manzanilla Tanya Tanyaka, Rebecca Alcantara, Milagros Dakanay. Deliverance, kanya, para sa buong Pilipinas and uh, si Irene Oliver Candelaria. Ngayon pong ikalawang linggo ng Kwaresma, ang atin pong mga pagbasa ay tumatalakay sa tinatawag po natin na covenant making. Tipanan, di ba? Ang kasunduan. Oh, ang panahon po ng Kwaresma ay paggunita kung papaano tayo ay ipinagkasundo, muling itinipan ng Panginoong Yesus sa kanyang Ama na nasa langit. Sa ating unang pagbasa sa araw pong ito, Genesis chapter 15, ay maririnig po natin yung covenant-making ritual ni God at ni Abraham 
na ginawa sa pamamagitan ng dugo ng mga hayop na isinakripais. Yan po yung first reading natin, the story of a first formal covenant with God in the Old Testament with Abraham. No? Sa atin pong second reading, Philippians chapter 3, verse 20, ay inilalarawan naman po dito, ano ba ang aim ng covenant? Tipanan sa Diyos. Ano ang long-term goal niyan? Bakit ginawa ng Diyos na meron siyang tipanan kay Moses, kay Abraham, kay David, no? kay Jesus, uh, tinitipan niya tayong lahat. Well, ang ganda po ng sabi ng Philippians chapter 3, verse 20 and following sa atin pong second reading, Our citizenship is in heaven. Ang atin pong tunay na citizenship ay sa langit. Kaya sa pamagitan ng mga tipanan ng Diyos sa mundo, nais niyang ipaalala sa atin itong long-term goal po natin na ito. At sa atin naman pong gospel reading ngayon, Second Sunday of Lent, maririnig po natin ang kwento ng Fort Luminous Mystery, ang ikaapat na misteryo ng liwanag, ang transfiguration ng Panginoong Yesus sa Mount of Tabor, sa Mount of Transfiguration, na kung saan inihanda ng Panginoong Yesus ang sarili para po sa kanyang huling paglalakbay patungo sa kanyang exodus, patungo sa kanyang passion sa banal na lungsod ng Jerusalem. Kung papaanong yung bautismo ay pagsisimula ng public life ng Panginoon, itong ibanghelyo po natin ngayon, transfiguration, ito naman po ang simula ng passion of Christ, yung talagang proper story ng passion of Christ, ang pagbaba ni Jesus mula Galilea, Patungo ngayon sa siyudad ng Jerusalem, sa distrito ng Judea. And sa gitna nito, sabi po ng Ama, This is my chosen son. Listen to him. So para bang sinasabi po sa atin, walang shortcut ang covenant. Ang covenant which makes us citizens of heaven, wala pong shortcut. Panahon ni Abraham may pinagawa ang Diyos. Panahon ni Moses may pinagawa ang Diyos. Panahon ni David may pinagawa ang Diyos kay Haring David. Sa panahon ng Panginoong Yesus, ang definite covenant natin sa Ama ay mas malaki ang naging puhunan ng Diyos sapagkat ito ay hindi na lamang sa dugo ng mga hayop tulad ng kay Abraham, kung hindi sa pamamagitan ng pagtalima at sakripisyo ng Panginoong Heso Kristo. So sana po itong panahong ito ng Kwaresma, talagang pahalagahan natin bilang season of renewal of relationship with God. Meron po tayong tinatawag na Easter duty. Ano yung Easter duty? na once in a year tayo ay mangungumpisal kung wala man pong matinding kasalanan it is to renew our covenant our resolution our commitment with the Lord narito na po ang ating banal na misa mula po sa oratorio ni Maria Reina ng mga apostol Society of St. Paul San Antonio Village Makati
the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As Jesus and his disciples traveled to Jerusalem, where suffering and death await, their journey is interrupted by an experience of Jesus' transfiguration. Up on the mountain, the three disciples get a glimpse of the glory that their master will have after his resurrection. The experience is only for a moment, but it is a source of fresh courage and new strength that will sustain them on the difficult way of the cross. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have commanded us to listen to your beloved Son, be pleased, we pray, to nourish us inwardly by your word, that with spiritual sight made pure, we may rejoice to behold your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, our Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord God took Abraham outside and said, Look up at the sky and count the stars if you can. Just so, he added, shall your descendants be. Abraham put his faith in the Lord, who credited it to him as an act of righteousness. He then said to him, I am the Lord who brought you up from Ur of the Chaldeans to give you this land as a possession. O Lord, he asked, how am I to know that I shall possess it? He answered him, bring me a three-year-old heifer, a three-year-old she-goat, a three-year-old ram, a turtle dove, and the young pigeon. Abram brought him all this, split them in two, and placed each half opposite the other. But the birds he did not cut up. Birds of prey swooped down on the carcasses, but Abram stayed with them. As the sun was about to set, a trance fell upon Abram and a deep, terrifying darkness enveloped him. When the sun had set, and it was dark, there appeared a smoking fire pot and a flaming torch, which passed between those pieces. It was on that occasion that the Lord made a covenant with Abram, saying, To your descendants I give this land, from the Wadi of Egypt to the great river, the Euphrates. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. Hear, O Lord, the sound of my call. Have pity on me and answer me. Of you my heart speaks, you my glance seeks. 
The Lord is my light and my salvation. Your presence, O Lord, I seek. Hide not your face from me. Do not in anger repel your servant. You are my helper. Cast me not off. The Lord, the Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Join with others in being imitators of me, brothers and sisters, and observe those who thus conduct themselves according to the model you have in us. For many, as I have often told you, and I'll tell you even in tears, conduct themselves as enemies of the cross of Christ. Their end is destruction. Their God is their stomach. Their glory is in their shame. Their minds are occupied with earthly things. But our citizenship is in heaven, and from it, we also await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. He will change our lowly body to conform with his glorified body by the power that enables him also to bring all things into subjection to himself. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, whom I love and long for, my joy and crown, in this way, stand firm in the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus took Peter, John, and James and went up the mountain to pray. While he was praying, his face changed in appearance and his clothing became dazzling white. And behold, two men were conversing with him, Moses and Elijah, who appeared in glory and spoke of his exodus that he was going to accomplish in Jerusalem. Peter and his companions had been overcome by sleep, but becoming fully awake, they saw his glory and the two men standing with him. As they were about to part from him, Peter said to Jesus, Master, it is good that we are here. Let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. But he did not know what he was saying. While he was still speaking, a cloud came and cast a shadow over them, and they became frightened when they entered the cloud. Then from the cloud came a voice that said, This is my chosen son. Listen to him. After the voice had spoken, Jesus was found alone. They fell silent and did not at that time tell anyone what they had seen. Sisters and brothers, my dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Patuloy po tayo sa ating 40-day uh, journey of Lent. At tayo po ngayon ay nasa pangalawang linggo na ng Kwaresma. Napakinggan po natin sa ating gospel na si Jesus ay nagbagong anyo. Siya ay nagniningning nang habang siya ay nanalangin. Ewan ko kung nangyari na sa inyo yan o nakakita na kayo ng kasama ninyo na nananalangin, bigla siyang nagningning. Pero si Jesus ay nagningning at uh, namangha. Mabuti na lang gising yung isinama niyang mga apostoles para niwa nakakatulog sila. Pero sa pagkakataon pong ito, sila ay gising dito sa itaas ng Mount Tabor. 
at uh, si Pedro, Santiago at Juan, uh, nakita rin nila na nakikipag-usap si Jesus sa dalawang karakter sa Bible na matagal na humpatay. Pero nadiskubre nila buhay pala ito. Meron palang namatay na muling na buhay. At ito na nga ho nauna si na Moses at si Elijah. Si Moses na nasa tabi ni Jesus, kayo din si Elijah. Si Moses na kumakatawan sa tatandaan ninyo, sampung uto sa kanya ay pinagkatiwala ng Diyos. At si Elijah naman, siya ang tinuturing na kahuli-hulihan sa mga profeta. So yung dalawang nasa tagiliran ni Jesus, nagsasabi ng tungkol sa batas, commandment, at prophets. Noong sila yung nawala, si Jesus ang natira, kung maka sinasabi sa atin, yung naiwan na yan, yan ang summary, ang kabuuan ng lahat ng nasa loob ng commandments at sa nasa loob ng mga prophets. Siya lang, pinakamahalaga. Si Jesus ang naiwan. Alam nyo, napakahalaga nitong pangyayaring ito para sa mga apostol sapagkat uh, katatapos lang magsalita ni Jesus sa kanila tungkol sa sasapitin niyang passion, death, and resurrection. Noong unang sabihin niya ito sa mga apostol, ang sabi ni Pedro, Panginoon, huwag na wa mangyari sa iyo yan. Itatay ako ang buhay ko para hindi yan mangyari. Nakakagulat. No? Kasi ito yung plano ng ama gustong hadlangan ni Pedro. Hindi niya maintindihan. Kaya marahil sinama sila ni Jesus doon sa taas ng bundok para magkaroon sila ng karanasan. Makita nila yung future glory ni Jesus. Para pag nangyari na yung kanyang ipinredict na passion and death, maniwala sila na may resurrection talaga. Hindi sila magupo ng mga makikita nilang violence na gagawin kay Jesus hanggang sa humantong sa kanyang pagkamatay. Alam nyo, napakahalaga para sa isang anak na makakarinig siya sa kanyang magulang ng mga salita ng encouragement, pagpapalakas loob. Ito yung isang maliwanag na nangyari sa Mount Tabor. Bukod ho sa pagniningning ng itsura ni Jesus, isang napakahalagang bagay yung mga salitang narinig ng mga apostol. Galing sa taas at ang sabi, iyan ang kinalulugdan kong anak, pakinggan nyo siya. Binibigan sila ng direction and guidance mismo ng Heavenly Father. Mahalaga yon para kay Peter, James, and John, pero mahalaga rin yon para kay Jesus. Diba kung tayo man ay uh, nakapag-abroad at nagtatrabaho ngayon dyan sa abroad, dahil meron tayong mga magulang, may pamilya na nagpapalakas ng loob sa atin. Ang mga OFWs nating kapatid, ang laman ng wallet niyan, hindi lamang larawan ng Panginoon, Su Cristo, Santo Nino, Nazareno, Mama Mary, o kaya yung favorite saint nila, pero may laman din niyang larawan ng kanilang mga mahal sa buhay. Magulang, pamilya, kapatid. At ito yung mga taong nagpapalakas ng loob sa atin kahit na kinakailangan tayong magtrabaho sa ibang bayan. Basta kapit-kapit natin tayo dito sa magandang alaala na ibinibigay nila palagi. Ito yung napakahalaga para kay Jesus na hanggang sa dulo maliwanag sa Kanya anak ako ng Heavenly Father. Narinig ko yan sa River Jordan, narinig ko ngayon sa Mount Tabor, Transfiguration. Sa ating uh, unang pagbasa, ipinasilip na sa atin yung tunay na kalwalhatian ng Diyos. Napakinggan natin kung papaanong uh, si Abraham, pinalitan ng pangalan niya, ginawa ang Abraham. Father of many nations. Kakatawa kasi kinakausap lang ng Diyos si Abraham 
nag-date sila dun sa labas, ang sabi, tingala ka. Tinan mo, ano karaming between. Ganyan kasing rami magiging iyong inapo, descendants. Punta tayo sa tabing dagat, iyang mga buhangin, ganyan ding kasing dami. Pero alam nyo mangyayari, si Abraham, isang daang taon noong pangakuan ng Diyos. Eh si Sarah, na kanyang misis, 90 o 95. No? Ibig sabihin, hindi lang sila ordinary senior citizen, kung hindi sobra-sobrang senior. No? Paano mangyayari? Magsisilang siya ng ganong kadaming mga anak. No? Pwede siguro yun sa aso, pero sa kanya, paano mangyayari yun? Ugod-ugod na. No? Yun ang human way of thinking, pero alam naman natin, pag kumilos ang Diyos, kakaiba. Eh, paano ba mangyayari na uh, itong yung ka, pagtitipan nyo sa akin ay malalaman kong magkatotoo? Aba, pinagawa siya ng yung mga isang baka, isang kambing, at sa pang uh, hayop. No? Pinabiyak sa gitna at biglang nakita ni Abraham nung magdilim ang liwanag ng Panginoon pumagit na doon sa mga hayop na pinahati. Ibig sabihin, uh, tutuparin ko. Gaganapin ko yung aking pinangako. Dadaanan ko yan. No? Hindi ko bibitiwan yung aking pinangako sa iyo. Yan ang pangako ng Diyos. Nakita ang kaningningan ng Diyos noong panahon ni Abraham. Ngayon naman, nakita ang kaningningan sa panahon ni Jesus mismo. Mismong mga apostol ang nakasaksi. Si St. Paul sa second reading nung sumusulat siya sa mga taga Filipos habang siya ay isang prisoner, ang sabi niya, I write this in tears. May mga tao na kalaban ng cross, enemies of the cross. Ang gusto lang nila ay kasiyahan, laman ng sikmura, Inom kain. Pero ang sabi niya, we have a citizenship. Hindi lamang dito sa lupa, kung hindi sa langit. And we will be transfigured in glory. Napaka-tapang ahong magsalita ni St. Paul. Kasi ang sabi niya, be imitators of me. Eh ako, hindi ko pwede sabihin sa inyo yun eh. Dahil kilala ko ang sarili ko, may mga kahinaan ako. Pero si St. Paul tahasa niya ang kaya niyang sabihin sa mga sinusulatan niya, be imitators of me. At ang sabi pa niya sa mga kausap niya, you are my crown and my joy. Yun ang tingin niya sa mga bagong kristyano. Lalagay ko kayo sa ulo ko, pagmamalaki ko kayo, at kayo ang kaligayahan ng aking puso. Kung makakasunod lang kayo, at you will aspire for that transfigured life that God has promised for all of us. In the Old Testament, Abraham's time, and in the time of Jesus. Nakita ng mga apostol. Yan ang ibinebenta ngayon ni St. Paul. Sabi, sana tanggapin ninyo ito. Sana itong tangkilikin ninyo and do not become enemies of the cross. Ngayon, ano ang sinasabi sa atin ng Ebanghelyo? ang paraan ng Panginoon ay karaniwan ganun pa rin paraan ng krus. Kapag ang isang bagay ay madali, nagsisikap kang sumunod sa Panginoon, pero napakadali. Para walang challenge. Parang wala kang binibitiwan. Parang wala kang sacrifice. Hindi yun sa Panginoon. Dahil kinakailangan ang pagsunod sa Panginoon ay way of the cross. Pangalawa, uh, sinasabi sa atin dito na sa pagsunod natin sa Panginoon, ang ating kinakailangang i-please hindi ang mga tao sa paligid, kung hindi mismong ang Diyos sila palagi, ang Diyos palagi, 
hindi ang mga tao sa paligid. Sa pagsunod natin, in that way of the cross, always please God, not people around you. Hindi ka maghahanap ng mga likers, no? mga followers. Palaging Panginoon ang kailangan ma-please. Pangatlo at final, uh, sa pagsunod natin sa Panginoon, um, ang paraan ng compassion, forgiveness at love. Yan, swak. Palaging yan ang paraan ng Diyos. Dahil pinakita na yan ni Kristo eh. Yan ang paraan ng Diyos. O, wala kang talo dyan. So maliwanag kay Jesus, kahit na siya ay bagyuhin at abutan ng daluyong ng mga pagsubok, ng mga opposition, ng mga kalaban niya, maliwanag sa kanya, minamahal ako ng aking ama sa langit at uh, ang daan na aking tatahakin, ang daan ng krus, ng pagmamahal, ng pagpapatawad, pagbibigay. Tumayo po tayo para sa ating pananampalataya. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. In the transfiguration, the Father revealed the glory of His Son. Let us pray to God our Father that He may show us the path of Christ's eternal glory. We pray, Lord of light, hear us. Lord of light, hear us. For Pope Francis, bishops, priests, and deacons, may they help us to understand that Christ's glory is attained through carrying one's cross, we pray. Lord of light, hear us. For political and civil leaders, may they persevere in doing what is right, especially when it proves dif difficult and unpopular, we pray. Lord of light, hear us. For young people who doubt their worth and have lost hope, May the light of transfigured Christ free them from despair and make them see what God has planned for them, we pray. Lord of light, hear us. For the coming election, may Filipino voters listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit so that they will only vote for candidates who have a heart for the poor and the marginalized, we pray. Lord of light, hear us. For the sick, the elderly, the handicapped, the abandoned, and those who are undergoing difficulties in their vocation, may they be given consolation and grace as they carry their respective crosses, we pray. Lord of light, hear us. For our beloved dead, may the love of God transform them as co-heirs to eternal life, we pray. Lord of light, hear us. Hear us, O Heavenly Father, and grant us a contrite heart and a steadfast spirit so that we may remain faithful to you and your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy, holy church. May this sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, cleanse us of our faults and sanctify your faithful in body and mind for the celebration of the Paschal festivities. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after he had told the disciples of his coming death on the holy mountain, he manifested to them his glory to show, even by the testimony of the law and the prophets, that the passion leads to the glory of the resurrection. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope Luis Antonio, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the peace of Christ. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Jesus, the living God, who today is transfigured in glory, he takes away our sins and brings out the best in us. He, happy are we who are invited to partake in this holy banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
prayer during communion. For those who cannot receive communion, join us in praying the spiritual communion. Jesus, Master, you assure me I am the life. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life. In baptism and in the sacrament of reconciliation, you have communicated to me this life of yours. Now you nourish it by making yourself my food. Take my heart, detach it from the vain things of the world. With all my heart, I love you above all things because you are infinite good and eternal happiness. Amen. Prayer of Overseas Workers Saint Michael the Archangel, I am about to leave my family and the physical and emotional distance affect me. The physical distance means I will be living in a totally different culture where everything will be new. The emotional distance implies that no longer will I be able to embrace my loved ones when I want to. You have done special mission for God and you did it confidently, trusting that everything will be all right because our Creator has everything in His hands. Share with me the same faith. Make this travel a part of my mission here on earth. I have to leave for the good of my family and loved ones. I have to leave to do God's will. While I am away from them, protect them from dangers. Let them feel my presence through my letters and calls. Make us a strong family, even though we are far from one another. Saint Michael, through your intercession, may Jesus be the light of the family and Mary be our mother too. Amen. As we receive these glorious mysteries, we make thanksgiving to you, O Lord, for allowing us, while still on earth, to be partakers, even now, of the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please bow your head and pray for God's blessings. Bless your faithful, we pray, O Lord, with a blessing that endures forever. And keep them faithful to the gospel of your only begotten Son, so that they may always desire and at last attain that glory, whose beauty he showed in his own body to the amazement of his apostles. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May the blessings of the Lord be upon you, the blessings of the Father and the Son, and may the Spirit of God the spirit of love be with you all the way. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Tayo po ngayon ay dadako na sa atin pong uh, katikismo o uh, dito po sa Gaudete et Exultate nasa chapter 5 po tayo. Ito ang huling chapter ng sulat ni Pope Francis about the call to holiness. At dito po sa ikalimang kabanata ng Gaudete et Exultate tinatalakay po ni Pope Francis na ang tawag ng kabanalan 
is also the experience of spiritual combat. Pakikipagtunggali. Ha? Ang kabanalan po ay hindi po isang uh, magaan na landas at pagtawag. Ito po ay nangangailangan ng talagang commitment po natin sapagkat it is a constant battle, sabi po dyan, ano ni po Francis sa kanyang opening sa paragraph 158 ng Gaudete, Gaudete et Exultate. Ngayon, anong kailangan dito sa experience natin of holiness as a spiritual combat, napakahalaga po yung tinatawag po natin na vigilance, pagiging mapagmatyag, yan. Pagiging alerto, sabi nga po ng iba, mapagmatyag, okay? So, nandun yung constant struggle between good and evil, sabi po dito ng, pang, ng atin pong Santo Papa, and kanya, ang evil ay totoo. Yan. Hindi lamang ito katangisip, hindi lamang po ito isang projection ng mga puwersang espiritual. Hindi po. Kung hindi, meron talagang identity ang kasamaan. No? So, kanya, the mistake of many today is to let down their guard, magpabaya, o, at mag-isip na, ay, hindi naman yan totoo. No? So, with that, kanya, the devil continues to poison us with venoms of hatred, dissolution, envy, and vice. So, yun pong mga bagay na yun, nagpapakita sa activity ng spirit of evil sa atin pong panahon. Hatred. Naku, napakarami niyan. Desolution. Naku, marami po yan yung mga nade-depressed, nahaharassed, yeah. tuliro, yan. Nawawala sa bait, yan. NB. Naku, marami din po yan. Ha? At lalo-lalo na po yung vice. Yan. So, lahat pong ito nagpapakita sabi po ni Pope Francis, doon sa isinulat sa 1 Peter 5 verse 8. Sa 1 Peter 5 verse 8, sabi po doon, Like a roaring lion, evil prowls around looking for someone to devour. Kaya nga po, mahalaga in the call to holiness na tayo po ay maging mapagmatyag, maging alerto. O? Oh? In what way? Meron po tayong mga weapons, sabi po ni Pope Francis, paragraph 162. Ano po yung mga weapons na makikita po natin sa tradisyon ng simbahan about combating the spiritual Ill illness of the times? Una, prayer. Pangalawa, word of God. Pangatlo, mass. Pang-apat, Eucharistic Adoration. Pang-lima, Sacrament of Reconciliation. Work of Charity. Community Life. Mission Outreach. By all of those, we can counterbalance the works of evil, which is hatred, violence, depression, and be and buys. So, sana po, wag tayong magpadala, no? Lalo-lalo na po in the season of Lent, no? This must be a time for us to renew our commitment to a victorious spiritual combat sa ngalan po ng krus ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Ngayon naman po, inaanyayahan namin kayo na maging partner sa atin pong mission sa Sambuhay TV Mass, sa screen po natin, nandyan po ang ating iba't ibang bank accounts para po sa inyong donations, love offerings, pledges, and tithes. Blessings po dun sa mga regular na nagpapadala. Alam nyo naman po, the Lord is never outdone 
in generosity. We would like to hear from you also your own faith experiences. Paano kayo blines ni Lord sa pamamagitan ng inyong sharing of blessings. Pangalawa, you can be a mission partner by texting us yung inyo pong mga sharing, comments, at mass intentions. Nasa screen po natin ang text number. We can also be a mission partner by spreading. Pakilala po natin itong apostolado. Sa screen po ang iba't ibang social media platforms at addresses na gamit ng ating apostolado. Pakilala po ninyo ito sa inyong mga kaibigan. Likewise, sa screen natin ang atin pong cable channels na gamit naman po sa local telecast ng TV Maria. Sa ngalan po ni Father Resti de la Peña, lahat po nang bumubuo ng Sambuhay TV at St. Paul Audiovisuals, iniiwan po namin sa inyo ang panalangin po ni Blessed James Alberione to spend the week well. My dear and sweet Mother Mary, keep your holy hand upon me, guard my mind, my heart, my senses, that I may never commit sin. Bless my thoughts, affections, words, and actions, that I may always, always please you, Jesus and Mary. Give me your most holy blessings. Amen. Amen.